snow in the mountains made for some pretty scary driving conditions later on this evening. Some people found themselves stuck after their cars slid off the icy road. Snow plows had to be brought in to clear the highway, but chains are still required if you're going to head up to Mount Charleston. Here in the valley, we saw some sprinkles, some heavy rain in parts, and lightning. So what's going to happen with a storm? You were showing us earlier the green blob there on your screen. Yeah, that's yeah I'm going to show it again. That's the green okay. areas I've I know. seen. Well, can I tell you something? Mm. It's a great thing that it came oh, because nice. it fell right over Lake Mead, yeah. which is where we need it the most, of course, <laughs> although we do need it in our backyards too. So here's a look at some video that was shot in our backyard here, KLAS. This was shot about 10:15, and there you can see the rain coming down. Now it will all start to clear out after... Uh, maybe a few more hours. Let's take a look at the radar now and show you what's happening. Here's a look at the green blob. Henderson still seeing a few showers, but light in intensity. The lighter shades of green obviously mean lighter rain is falling. Now it's starting to clear out of Las Vegas. It'll continue to push down to the south as we head through the next few hours here. So do expect conditions to sort of dry out, but as they dry out, they will get a little windy and a little cool. Here's a wider look at the system and notice, yes, it moved right over Lake Mead. And speaking of Lake Mead, there is an advisory in effect for the day tomorrow and what it is is a lake wind advisory because winds will be coming out of the north as we head through tomorrow 20 to 30 miles per hour sustained not happening just yet though Here's a look at the wind speeds in the different neighborhoods. El Dorado up to 20 miles per hour. Martin Luther King up to 13 miles per hour. Other areas still calm, but I do believe as we head through the day tomorrow, winds will continue to increase. So this could be a problem, especially if tomorrow's your trash day. Outside the valley, we've got some double digits going on here. Searchlight 13 miles per hour per rump, 10 mile per hour winds right now. And the winds are coming out of the north. And what that also means is some cooler air will be coming in place as we head through the upcoming evening, also as we head through tomorrow. So here's a look at the future. It starts us off at 5 o'clock and the clouds and the storm system will continue to move down to the south and down to our east. So what that means is we'll have clearing conditions as we head through the day tomorrow. Sunshine returns for Valentine's Day, heading out the door around 7 o'clock, 45 degrees at that time, but it will be windy, so it may feel a little cooler to you when you step out the door. High temperature tomorrow right around where we should be for a Valentine's Day in Las Vegas in the year 2007. 62 degrees for high temperature, dry weather, but breezy weather. 64 for Laughlin, Pahrump, 57 degrees for a high and Mesquite 62. We will be dry, but we will be windy. Also, as we head through tomorrow night, it's going to be a chilly night, 40 degrees for the overnight low, and then a big warm-up comes as we head into the end of the week. Temperatures rebounding to the 70s for Friday and Saturday, and the next chance for a few showers, I don't think it'll be nearly as many as we mm. saw today, will be on Sunday, and then uh, temperatures back in the 60s. And I did say yesterday I have a little bit of everything for everybody. I think today proved Happy it. Happy Valentine's <laughs> yeah. Day. That's great. Thank All you, Gene. Right. You're welcome. Yeah.